on top class today. Hajin, Umama, Harishian, and Rhea playing for Ellsley Primary School from Middlesex. And competing against them are Tomos, JJ, Noah, and Ridwan playing for Glenfroom Primary School from Bristol. But who will be top class? Top class, the search for the UK's smartest school. Let's meet our teams. First up, we have Ellsley Primary School from Middlesex. Despite being so close to London, theirs is a quiet school with a wildlife area and gardens. The school has also just received funding to set up their own livestock farm next year. <laughs> Hadjin, are you excited about having a livestock area? Very excited. Great. Umama, welcome to the show. What subjects do you like at school, Umama? I don't have a favourite in particular, but I like English because I can be quite creative with it. Brilliant. Harishian, welcome, captain of yeah. Ellsley. Why have you been chosen to be the captain of your team? Because I'm, I'm probably the smartest out of all of us. <laughs> That's a bold statement, Harishian. Just by a show of hands, who agrees with that? Look, <laughs> you've not got them all on board. Welcome Ellsley Primary School from Middlesex. Give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> and playing them are Glenfroom Primary School from Bristol. Their school runs a wide range of after-school clubs from photography to chess and even cooking. Pupils also run their own newspaper called the Glenfroom Express. Ridwan, that sounds quite exciting. Are you a member of any of the after-school clubs? Basketball club. Basketball club. I am not great at basketball, Ridwan, due to the fact I am quite short. <laughs> Could I still come and play on your basketball team? Yeah. Oh, you're very nice to me, Ridwan. This is great. Brilliant. Noah, what do you like at school? Art. What do you not like? Geography. Geography. Well, we'll see what comes up on the show. Hope you enjoy yourself. JJ, yes. captain. Now, over there, Harishian <laughs> says he was chosen because he's just, like, the best. Why have you been <laughs> chosen as captain of your team? I don't know. <laughs> Very honest answer. Yes. Do you think it's because you can kind of corral the rest of your team? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Glenfroom Primary School from Bristol. Give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> OK, teams, let's kick straight off with a lightning round. In this round, you'll each be given a word search. Ellsley, you're up first. You're looking for family members. There are eight in total. Your 45 seconds starts now. Hajin. Cousin. Cousin, is that there? Yes. Harishian. Daughter. Daughter, is that there? It is, well done. Umama. Gran. Gran, is that there? Yes. Rhea. Uncle. Uncle. That's right. They can go up and down and cross the way. And Umama? Sister. Sister, is that there? Yes, it is. Arishian? Mother. Mother. Is that there? It is backwards. Well done. Ten seconds. Rhea? Niece. Niece, is that there? No. Arishian? Nephew. Nephew, is that there? It is just at the last moment. Well done there. You got yourself seven points, Ellsley. <laughs> Brilliant. You only missed out one of them. Let's have a look what it was. And it was Ant. Oh. And it was just there, a really tricky one. Diagonally across there, but well done. Seven points. Next up, Glenn Froome. You get to play your word search. You're looking for types of birds. There are eight in total. Your 45 seconds starts now. Red one. Penguin. Penguin, is that there? It is. JJ. Parrot. Parrot, is that there? Yep. Red one. Goose. Goose. There is a goose in the hoose. JJ. Duck. Duck. Yep, you got it. Well done backwards. They can be backwards. Sparrow. G sparrow, is there sparrow? Yep, they can be backwards, diagonally, across the way. 
10 seconds. JJ. Crow. Crow? Is there a crow? There is a crow. Just out of time there, but well done. You got yourself six points, Glenn Froome. Brilliant. Well done, Glenn Froome. Let's see the ones you missed. Cuckoo, which is just there at the sides, and Owl, sneakily in there. Six points to you, but well done, both teams. You've all got points on the board. Give them a round of applause. Brilliant. <laughs> OK, teams, from now on, throughout the game, you'll get a chance to take control of each subject. The subject is... Science. Here's your control question. Which short word, beginning with B, is used to mean a coding error in a computer programme? Ridwan. Bug. Bug. Correct answer. Well done, Glenn Froome. You've got control of the game. Brilliant. In this game, I'm going to ask you four questions about the solar system. Firstly, which planet has the shortest orbit? Which planet has the shortest orbit? I think it's Mercury, because um, it's the closest, so it doesn't have to go that far around. You think Mercury? Because, look, yeah. Mercury has the shortest yeah. ring. Yeah, so okay. Mercury. You're saying Mercury, is that right? It is right, well done. Second question, which planet has the largest moon in the solar system? Ganymede. Jupiter. 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 JJ. Uh, Jupiter. Jupiter, is that correct? It is, well done. Third question, on which planet would you find the volcano Olympus Mons? Mars. 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 Mars, is that the right answer? It is. Finally, which planet is the warmest on average, even though it's not closest to the sun? Venus. I think Mars or Venus. It's Venus. It's Venus. It's Venus. It's Venus, yeah. Venus. You're saying Venus, is that the right answer? It is five points. Well done, Glenn Froome. Absolutely brilliant. And I can tell you now, at the end of that round, the scores are Ellsley have seven just in front of them. Glenn Froome have 11 points. Well done. <laughs> plenty of time, plenty of points to be played for. The next subject is... English. Here's your control question. Which eight-letter word means the opposite of the word guilty? Parisian. Innocent. Innocent. Correct answer. Well done, Ellsley. You have control of the game. Here are the rest of your questions on the subject of parts of speech. Firstly, in this sentence, which word is the adjective? Liam thinks Cheryl is someone quite special. Special? Special, is that the right answer? It is. Well done, special is the adjective. Second sentence. In this sentence, which word is the proper noun? Hacker repeatedly told me I've got to watch this. Hacker? You're saying hacker, is that the right answer? It is, well done. Hacker is indeed the proper noun. Third question, in this sentence, which word is the adverb? Rag and Bone Man realised he was only human after all. No, it has to be one of them. Realised. Realise it's only. only. Yeah. Okay, fine. Is it only? Is it only? It is only. Well done. Only was the adverb. And finally, in this sentence, which word is the definite article? Sandy enjoyed eating the cakes more than Paul did. The? You're saying the? Is that the right answer? It is. Well done. Five points to Ellsley as well in that round. Wow! I can tell you now, it is so close. After that round, Glen Froome have 11 points, but only one point ahead. Ellsley have 12 points. Wow! Exciting! The next subject is... History. Here is your control question. The name of which metal is given to the period of human history immediately following the Stone and Bronze Ages. JJ. The Iron Age. The Iron Age. Absolutely right. Well done, JJ. You've got control of the game. Well done. Here are the rest of your questions on the subject of works of art. 
In this game, you're going to see a list of four famous artistic works. You need to tell me the order in which they were created. Hamlet by William Shakespeare, Yellow Submarine by the Beatles, The Bayou Tapestry, and Sunflowers by Vincent van Gogh. Starting with the earliest. So I'll ask you first of all for number one. I think it might be C. C, yeah, and then C, and then it'll be A, and then it'll be B. And then it'll be a and then it'll be B. So what's the show? I think it'll be C, B, uh, no, not C, D, B, A, A, and B. B. Like that. What's your answer, JJ? What was created first? Uh, the Bayou Tapestry. You're saying the Bayou Tapestry? And second? Sunflowers by Vincent van Gogh. Sunflowers. Third? Uh, Hamlet by William Shakespeare. Hamlet. And fourth? Yellow Submarine by the Beatles. Yellow Submarine, that's your answer. Let's lock it in and let's see how many you got right. You got two right in that round. Let's see the right order. First of all, the Bayou Tapestry was created in the 11th century. Hamlet was created about 1601. Van Gogh's Sunflowers is the 1880s. And you were absolutely right, the Beatles' Yellow Submarine was created in 1969. Well done, Glenn Froome. You got yourself three points in that round. Well done. Well, let's see how that's changed things. Oh, my goodness, it is still incredibly close. At the end of that round, Ailsley have 12 points, but just in front of them, Glenn Froome have got 14 points, everyone! <laughs> it's time for my absolute favourite round of all time. It's time to test the teacher. First up, Harishian, tell me, who have you brought with you and why? We've brought um, Mr McCarroll because he's very... Smart and he knows a lot of stuff. Yes, Ria. Um, he is one of the youngest in the school out of the teachers, so he should do very good. But if he doesn't do very good, I think we'll put him in a new light. <laughs> what pressure, Umama? Have you been doing anything to help him? Um, yeah. Um, we've been having practice sessions at lunchtime at school and on the train. I brought along a quiz book so we could test him. And how did and he do? He did really well, actually. Right. How do, you, how do you think your teacher's going to do? I think he's going to do very well. Let's find out. Ellsley, it's time to test the teacher. Bring in Mr McCarroll! <laughs> Mr McCarroll. Obama says that you have been doing some revision. Have you been working hard? Um, yeah. Yeah. Really? Qu quite hard. Yeah. Quite when hard? I can. Yeah. Do you think you could have worked harder, Mr. McCarroll? Probably earlier. Probably um, earlier. Yeah. They have confidence in you. Hadjin thinks you're going to do great. Thanks, Hadjin. OK. So, I'm rooting for you, Mr. McCarroll. Thanks. You're going to have 60 seconds on the clock to answer as many questions as you can. Start the clock. What is the surname of the model sisters, Bella and Gigi? Uh, pass. It's Hadid. How many blades does a fidget spinner usually have? Three. Correct. What is the name of this band? Pass. Train. What is the name of Mick Carter's wife in the Soap EastEnders? Pass. Linda. What is the name of this Australian band? Pass. Five Seconds of Summer. What is the online name of the musically star Ariel Martin? Pass. Baby Ariel. In the TV show Liv and Maddie, what is Liv and Maddie's surname? Yes. Rooney. What is the surname of Alex, the Premier League rising star that you play as in FIFA 2017? Alex. Oxide Chamberlain. No, Hunter. What word beginning with G describes skateboarding tricks where the boarder slides using the trucks of the skateboard? Glide. Grind. Grind. The book series by Daft Pilkley is called The Adventures of Captain Who? Marvel. Underpants! <laughs> Mr. McCarroll, you scored one point. Yeah, that was my target, yeah. <laughs> Those questions were quite difficult, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Mr. McCarroll, you've got one point for your team, but for now, Sorry. you are dismissed. Well done, Mr. McCarroll. <laughs> how, are you? how are you feeling about Mr. McCarroll? I'm pretty disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Rhea, you suggested that if you didn't do well, you might look at him in a whole new light. Are you looking at him in a whole new light? Slightly. Slightly. Umama? I mean, 
I am disappointed with him, but we know that he tried his best. Hajin. He went good as well as bad. He was good as well as bad. That's the best review you can possibly give a teacher. Well, Glenn Froome, who have you brought with you and why, JJ? Uh, we've brought Miss Rosser because, uh, one, she's our class teacher and, two, she's still young. Ridwan, tell me, how do you think she's going to do in this round? She's going to ace it. Is she? Such confidence. <laughs> Noah, what do you think? Uh, I think she's going to do well. Thomas, have you been helping her at all? Uh, we give her homework, but she's already very up to date. My word, let's see how up to date she is, Glenn Froome. It's time to test the teacher. Bring in Miss Rosser. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. A lot of confidence coming from Glenn yes, Frindo for you. Yes, thanks, guys. <laughs> um, and you have been revising? Yes, they've given me some subjects to maybe brush up on, so hopefully they'll come up. 60 seconds on the clock to answer as many questions as you can. Start the clock. Sweatshirt is the debut single of which social media star? Uh, pass. Jacob Sartorius. Joe Trasini replaced Mark Wright as a presenter on which CBBC design show? Us. The engineers. What is the name of the band performing this song? I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever heard. Um, us. 21 <laughs> Pilots. Which YouTube dance star is known for her oversized hair bows? The pass. Jojo Siwa. Which CBBC character is this? Pass. Hetty Feather. How are the actors Chris and Liam Hemsworth related? Brothers. Correct. In the Lego City TV series, what is the only word the police officers can say? Stop. Hey, when playing for Barcelona in 2016-2017 season, the footballer Neymar wore which number shirt? 10. No, it was 11. <gasps> what is the surname of the acting sisters Elle and Dakota? A fan name. Correct. Complete the title of this racing game, Micro Machines World What? Country. Series. Oh, oh. well done, Miss Rossi. You scored two points. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Tough question. So Did you not know uh, the song 21 Pilots? No, I didn't. I should have known Neymar. Ridvan is quite a big Neymar fan, and so are many of the oh, children no. in my class. <laughs> so you should have known that. I should have oh, known no, that Ms. one. Rosser. I, know. <laughs> I think you did brilliantly Thank for your you. team. You got two points, but for now, Miss Rosser, you are dismissed. <laughs> well done. <laughs> JJ, she did good. Two points? Yeah. <laughs> Ridwan, how do you think she did? Uh, she didn't ace it. She didn't ace it, but she tried her best. Noah, are you still proud of your teacher? Yeah. Yeah. Thomas? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the most convincing, but that's OK. Now, let's see how that's changed the scores. At the end of that round, it's still really close. Ellsley have 13 points. Glenn Froome have 16 points. Well done. <laughs> Right, teams, you're back in the spotlight now. It's time for pet subjects. Ellsley, you're going to go first. What have you chosen as your pet subject? We've chosen Little Darlings by Jacqueline Wilson. Great. 30 seconds on the clock. Start the clock. In the book Little Darlings, what is Danny's surname? Your mama. Kilman. Correct. Which of Danny's daughters lives in luxury? Umama. Sunset. Correct. What job did Sunset's mum used to do? Umama. Model. Correct. Which of Danny's children lives on a rundown estate? Umama. Destiny. Correct. What is the title of the magazine that features photo shoots of Danny? Umama. Hi. Correct. What is Danny's job? Singer. Singer. I can accept that it's rock star. My goodness, Umama, you got six points for your team there. <laughs> That was an incredible performance, Umama. Six points. Glenn Froome, can I ask you, what subject have you chosen for your pet subject, JJ? Uh, we have chosen Premier League stadiums. Premier League stadiums. 30 seconds on the clock. Start the clock. Stamford Bridge is the home ground of which team? Red one. Chelsea. Correct. Which of the Premier League stadiums has the highest capacity? Red one. Trafford. Correct. Selhurst Park is the home stadium. JJ. Crystal Palace. Say again. Crystal Palace. Correct. Which team's stadium was formerly known as the Olympic Stadium? Red one. West Ham. Correct. Vicarage Road is the home ground of which team? Red one. Watford. Correct. Which of the Premier League stadiums is the furthest north? Red one. Middlesbrough. No, R Riverside Stadium. 
No, that is incorrect. It was the Stadium of Light, but my goodness, what an incredible round as well. Five points to Glenfroom, my goodness. <laughs> I tell you something, you both know your pet subjects incredibly well. Let's see how that's changed the scores. Oh, my goodness, I don't think my nerves can take this. Ellsley have 19 points just ahead. Glenn Froome have got 21 points. <laughs> so exciting. But now it is back to business. The next subject is... Well, it's a mystery round. <laughs> it's a mystery round and the subject is transport. Here is your control question. What type of vehicle can be called bendy or double-decker? JJ. Bus. You're saying a bus? Correct answer. Well done, Grenfroom. You've got control of the game. Brilliant. In this round, you'll see pictures of different types of transport. Firstly, what is the nine-letter name for this type of transport? It's parachute. Sorry. Parachute. Parachute. Yeah, let's just wait for a red one. So let's just spell it <laughs> out. <Yeah. laughs> JJ? Parachute. Parachute. And you've checked by spelling it. Let's see if that's the right answer. It is. Well done. Secondly, what is the eight-letter name for this type of transport? Mm -hmm. Wait, no, tricycles three. Unicycle. 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 Tricycles three. Unicycles. Unicycle. Unicycle. Yeah. Six, seven, eight. Yeah. Unicycle. Unicycle. Is that the right answer? It is. What is the seven-letter name of this type of transport? Rowing. Yeah, rowboat. Yeah. Gigi? A uh, rowboat. Is it rowboat? <laughs> it's not right. It is specifically a gondola, which is something you would find in Venice. And finally, what is the ten-letter name of this type of transport? This is a helicopter. 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 Is that the right answer? It is the right answer. Well done. You got yourself four points in that round, Glenn Froom. Well done. Let's find out the update on the scores after that round. It's still really close. Ellsley have 19 points. Glenn Froom have got 25 points. Well done. It's all about getting control of the game. The next subject is... Maths. Here's your control question. If one teaspoon holds five millilitres of water, then how many teaspoons of water make up a litre? Umama. 20. Is the incorrect answer. I can offer it over, buzz in. Ridwan? 200. Is the correct answer, Ridwan. Well done, you've got control. <laughs> Here are the rest of your questions on the subject of fractions. Question one, what is one and a half plus three and three quarters? Is it five and a half, five, five and a quarter, or six? Six quarters and 15 quarters is 21 quarters. JJ, do you have an answer? Five and one quarter. Five and, one quarter. five and a quarter, is that right? It is right, well done. Here's your second question. What is five eighths minus a half? Is it a quarter, a sixth, one fifth, or one eighth? Yeah. One eighth. Yeah. One eighth. Is that the right answer? It is right. Well done. What is two sevenths multiplied by one third? Is it a tenth, two over twenty-one, a twelfth, or three over seven? Let me say two twenty-ones. Two twenty-ones. Yeah. Yeah. Because twenty-ones. Two twenty-ones. Two over twenty-one. Is that the right answer? Yes. Finally, what is one sixth plus one twelfth? Is it a half, a third, a quarter, or an eighth? One quarter. One quarter. One quarter. Three twelfths. One quarter. Okay. Yeah. One quarter. Is it a quarter? Absolutely right. Well done. Five points, Glenn Froom. Well done. Great round. Ellsley, don't worry, there's loads of time. You can get some points to the board in the next round, but at the end of that round, I can tell you now the scores are Ellsley have 19, Glenn Froome have got 30 points. Give them both a round of applause. <laughs> OK, teams, this is it. It's the last chance to bag some points. It's the battle of the buzzers. 90 seconds on the clock for both teams to answer as many questions as they can. 
Start the clock. In which country of the UK are the Grampian Mountains located? Horatian. Wales. No, it's Scotland. Which actor plays James Bond in the Bond film Spectre? JJ. Daniel Craig. Correct. Fahrenheit is a unit of measurement of what property? Parisian. Temperature. Correct. Corfu and Crete are islands that are part of which European country? Umama. Greece. Correct. As of April 2017, Joanna Conta is the British women's number one in which sport? Parisian. Running? No, it's tennis. Who wrote the Skullduggery Pleasant series of novels? Anyone? No, it's Derek Landy. In the film Madagascar, the character Alex is what type of big cat? Harishian. Lion. Correct. Miami and Orlando are two of the largest cities. Ridwan. Uh, in America? No, the question was about the state. It was Florida. What D is the common condition that means the human body cannot regulate blood sugar levels? Harishian. Disease? No, it's diabetes. Tom Baker, Colin Baker and Christopher Eccleston have all played which sci-fi TV character? Noah. Doctor Who. Correct. The menorah and the Star of David are mainly associated with which major world religion? Umama. Christianity. No, it was Judaism. In football, which country's FIFA country code is ESP? Harishian. Spain. Sp correct. Which political party did former US President Barack Obama represent? Harishian. Conservative. No, it was the Democrats. The style of poem called Haiku originally comes from which Asian country? Harishian. Japan. Correct answer. What word beginning with H is used for any animal that eats only plants? Harishian. Herbivores. That's the correct answer. Well done to both teams. What a round! <laughs> what a round that was. You've all done incredibly well, but the winners today with 32 points are Glenn Froom! <laughs> Bad luck, Elsley. In that last round, you did an incredible job. You came right up behind them. You almost made it. You put up a great fight, but you're going home. Give them a huge round of applause. What a brilliant team they were. <laughs> Glenn Froom, you're going to be back for the quarterfinals. You're one step closer to being Top class. How does it feel, Ridwan? Oh, great. Yeah, Noah? Amazing. JJ? Brilliant. Brilliant. Thomas? Awesome. Awesome. Well, well done. I will see you in the quarterfinals and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>